All right, man. Rick Glazer uh, made some interesting news. He said that uh, he tweeted some rumor. I got to call it rumor. Uh, he basically, well, he said that PBC Amazon deal is supposed to be announced this week. And he announced that pretty much Al Heyman is fronting the, front the bill uh, to the Amazon PBC deal. Now, in boxing, things can change. You know, today could be, oh, it's going to be announced this week. Then they, they could be announced next week or it could be announced the week after next. Things in boxing change at the drop of a dime. But check out the box rumor playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop the video. But here you have it. It says the P PBC Amazon announcement is supposed to happen this week. There will be a lot of bluster in the media announcement uh, as PBC Honcho Al Heyman is attempting to keep the fighters uh, but when they start negotiating for their respective fights, many will realize that there's no money. It's only pay-per-view distribution and a marketing deal. And it will be good only for a chosen few, those that can actually sell pay-per-view as match with the right dance partner. This will be a great revelation for many and the and the definitely the start of a complete reset boxing badly needs. That's right. It, it it's here now. So basically saying the reset in the pay scale. Yeah. And what y'all gotta remember too is top rank top rank deal with uh with uh ESPN is up in August 2025 too. So Al Harriman might be getting to jump on the other brothers. Now Golden Boy Matchroom just read up with the zone. I don't know for how long, but they deals could be up not too long after that. So uh but basically it's kind of the same thing that was with uh with uh what's the other company fox and what happened with fox was pbc uh al hamel at the end of the fox deal al hamel was paying for the pay-per-view fights he is he's putting the money up for the shows paying fox 10 percent to distribute the shows and paying and paying for the whole show now usually how it go is that uh Usually how it goes is the promote the, the the network put the money up for the main event, the promoter pay for the undercard. Usually the uh promoter, okay, um, usually take a little bit, take money off top, put it in their own pocket, take a little bit of that money, pay the undercard, you know what I'm saying, and then you know, pay the fighters a couple dollars. That's usually how it go. So basically, in this deal, there it's only a distribution deal. Yep, it's only a distribution deal. So Fox will only provide produ production, and they're going to put some money up to market the fights. Now, how good the marketing going to be? I mean, how good is the marketing for the NFL? That's really good, but I don't expect it to be that good. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know I don't expect it to be that good. So, you know, um, you know, but... At the end of the day, this is on doing. This is on doing for years. For years, he's took networks money and splundered it on lackluster fights. I remember the first time he was splundering their they money. Uh, you know, it was on HBO with Andre Berto. You know, it was on. It was on. It was with Andre Berto. He got so much money out of HBO for Andre Berto. Then Berto didn't even end up, you know, being what they thought he was going to be. Shout out to Andre Berto. Got much love for him. You know, but, you know, he didn't finesse so many people, so many people's money that nobody was going to, nobody was going to give him a deal. Nobody was going to give him a deal. And that was the problem. Nobody was going to put the money up for, you know, PBC for them to run a, a, a bullshit ass scheme. He put on fights that's not even bringing on probably breaking them even. They losing money. They were squandering money when they could be putting that money towards a TV show or something that that would be fruitful. You know. Some that would be fruitful. You 
you know. And now he basically is going to go out his pocket, pay for the fight, probably pay Amazon for production. So this all going to be off his dollar. So let's see when he front the money up where the quality of fights get better. Will he be more willing to make cross-promotional fights? Betty would now let somebody else front the bill. And we're going to be able to see when his money get funny. I have Frank Martin take that million dollars before Christmas. Betty going to be crying. He took it now. But we're going to see when this money get funny. Who really going to stay loyal? Who really going to jump shit? Now, some of these guys might be forced to jump shit contractually. Or maybe Al Heyman got some dirt on them. I heard Al Heyman threaten people uh, to do something to people uh, if they left. That's a real thing. They said, well, Al Heyman make it bad for us if we leave. You know? I've heard that. So, you know, like I continue to go carry on about the situation, man. They said Al Heyman is a very, very powerful dude. Very powerful dude. Very powerful. So it's going to be on Al Heyman dollar. We're going to see off Al Heyman dollar. Do we get a different product? We're going to see off Al Heyman dollar. Do we get a different product? We're going to see it. Do we get a better quality of fight since we on his dime? You know, so that's that's gonna be that's gonna be the million dollar question. That's gonna be the million dollar question. Do we get a better quality uh quality? You know, of fights. Where Al Heyman, he gonna bullshit on his dime too. I doubt it. I think you start to see PBC fighters crossing the street after a while. I think you're gonna see some fighters attempt to cross the border and leave. I think that's what's gonna end up seeing. Yep. Cause think about it. If you got a front dispense bill and a car bill, he in trouble. Then the word is a lot of investors not messing with him. You know, a lot of his investors is fed up. He didn't spawn their day money. He didn't allegedly lie and told them they was going to get returns when they buying resale tickets. There's lawsuits out there, allegedly. So, as you got to understand, he done messed over a lot of people. Now the networks are saying, no. And they desperate for live sport. They saying, no, nah, Playboy, it ain't going down like this. Now, he went on a little bit and said, so it's no it's no investment, just pay-per-view shows. Anything more, Al Heyman's footing the fit, splitting the bill. So that's my next question. Is only going to be pay-per-view? So is this only going to be pay-per-view? That's my next question. Is this only going to be a pay-per-view deal? That's my next question. And, they, and if that's only going to be pay-per-view, then what are you going to do for the rest of the fighters that's not pay-per-view fighters? Is he going to stack these undercards? How many pay-per-view events they going to do a month? Come on. He got this is what, over 450, 400 fighters. So is it going to be regular Amazon boxing? Is it going to be a Thursday, you know, you know, boxing, Tuesday boxing? How are they going to fit all these fighters on one card? So these fight days about to get real slim for the pickings. The pickings about to get real slim for these fight days, man. These pickings, pickings about to get real slim. Real slim. Real slim. 
real slim. These pickings about to get real slim for them. If they only doing pay per view, then maybe it's another deal that's about to get announced. Or PBC definitely on a sick bed. But I'll tell you, when you start seeing a sick bed, when you see start seeing more Danny Jacobs, Jesse Vargas, and Adrian Broners, when you start to see more guys jump ship, that's how you go. That's how you gonna know this shit on this sick bed. That's how you gonna know it's on this sick bed. That's how you gonna know it's, it's on this sick bed. That's how you gonna know. That's exactly how you gonna know. That's exactly how you gonna know. That's exactly how you gonna know. No cap. Real talk, but I, I think a lot of these dudes about to jump ship on Al Heyman. If you know, you imagine that they wasn't active enough. They wasn't active enough on Showtime, and now if they just doing straight pay per views. Activity level about to be cheeks. Real talk, the activity level about to be real, real superficial. So a real, real lacking. But hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all our notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. Uh, financially, want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Hit the link, link tree. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Uh, link tree, the first link in the description. Um, you can find me everywhere. Appreciate Anton for donating the cash app, brother. Appreciate you. Uh, Vinny Cho as well, Gary, everybody appreciate y'all. PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, donating all that's rolling to buy my screen is in the description and the link tree. Peace.